to wait for the scene to catch up to me so that I can see if the audio is working. The fix I just did should make it work, but I need to test it. Yes, we have audio on Twitch. Excellent. All right. And casting on Dementia Radio now and recording in three, two, one. Recorded live on DementiaRadio.org, it's the Funny Music Podcast, brought to you by TheFunk.com, where you can download new free comedy songs twice a week. Now, here's your hosts, Devo Spice and the great Luke Ski. Hello, everybody. Devo Spice here. Um, you heard that intro music, right? You hearing anything? <laughs> Are you hearing the intro music? Did you hear it? No? God, no. You didn't hear anything? Hmm. I heard somebody speaking, but I didn't hear music. Uh, okay, hang on. Let's turn that I off. Heard the intro, but I didn't turn hear it back anything. on. All right. I'm just going to play the music again, and we'll, we'll see if that works. Can you hear it now? Recorded live on DementiaRadio.org. It's the funny music. Yeah. It recorded, I'm <laughs> sure. It's fine. <laughs> You're the announcer. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yes. this. Welcome to episode 649 of the Funny Music Podcast. The title of this week's episode is Roomy Buzz. And your job, should you choose to accept it, is to work that into our conversation somehow. I'm going to put it in the chat so you can refer to it later. Um. And we are here with Alligator Jackson. Welcome to the show, dude. Hey, good to be here. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Luke is otherwise indisposed doing uh, Thanksgiving-type things this evening. Um, and unfortunately, Carla Albrick uh, was planning to join us tonight, and something came up, and she's not available. So um, it's just going to be the two of us. So hey, that should be fine. Third. I'm sorry, what was that? That I got my dog here if we need a third. All right. I, dog. I love dogs. <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to turn. She's got kind of a roomy buzz right now, though, so she's off to the left. Hey! Hey! <laughs> I think that was the fastest anyone's ever done that. <laughs> and I just turned you up to be so you can be as loud as I am. So, all right. So... Let's do a quick catch up and then we'll interview you. Let's get caught up with what Devo and Luke have been up to since last week. Or else Devo, if Luke failed and didn't show up. Hey, what? No, oh, he's right. Point. So, when last we spoke, I had pulled an all nighter for work because I had a project with an unreasonable deadline. And I knew I was going to be up late on Thursday night as well. Well, I ended up pulling two all-nighters in a row. I turned in the project at 8.30 on Friday morning. Um, it was due at 9, so I made it. And then I crashed and went to bed. Um, I was up a total of 50 hours. I was up from 7 o'clock Wednesday morning till 9 o'clock Friday morning, which is a new record for me. Even in college, I didn't do anything like that. So, I don't recommend it. Um, by Friday morning, I was falling asleep on you know while I was coding, and I would I kept like dozing off, and then I'd wake up, and there would be you know my hand would be resting on the keyboard, so there'd be all of this you know junk letters in my code that I had to carefully edit out. Um, and like I, st I was like starting to hallucinate. Like I, like one of my kids' toys like stood up on the ground, and I looked over, and then it was back down. I'm like, all right, <laughs> I'm like, this needs to stop. <laughs> so, that was fun. Um, and the only other thing I've been working on is the Fump Volume 95, which is behind schedule for a couple of technical reasons, uh, but it will go out on Friday to all the subscribers. Uh, it would go out tomorrow, but you know, Thanksgiving, no mail. So, it'll go out Friday. So, Alligator Jackson, welcome to the show. Great to be here. Great to be here. And uh, why don't you give us a, a quick introduction to who you are, where you're from, what you do, and all of that. Well, I'm an old Southern rocker 
but uh, when I when I had to start singing, I knew, hey, wait a minute, man, I ain't got the voice to carry off Southern Rock. But I've been listening since Dr. Demento since the early 70s. And I've always, my dream, I haven't achieved it yet, but my dream since I was a little kid was to be on a Dr. Demento show. But this is a close second. You know, if I would have known when I was uh, five years old that there was a funk, I would want to be on it. But uh, so I started, uh, so the songs that I'm doing now are uh, hard rock. Uh, I've got a great guitarist, uh, Nigel Cuff. It's, it's, it's not really hard rock, but uh, uh, it's uh, got some good blues, got some good guitar in there, and uh, they're fun. Cool. Well, I, I wanted to mention, there. You know, Dr. Demento does you know follow the thump and you know listen to the songs that we post so the, there's a there's a chance he will pick up your song and play it on his show in in the coming weeks although you might have to wait till after the new year because he's going to be jumping into christmas music very soon so we'll see maybe well, the next time he does a dog show i'll have to send you my tribute to dr mento called i'm still the minute oh definitely yes i, I forgot about that <laughs> <laughs> cool so give us a quick intro to your the song that you posted and we'll give it a listen and then we'll interview you about it a big headed dog it's uh it's for all the dogs out here whose heads are just a little too big all right here is big headed dog by alligator jackson <laughs> Before we get started, uh, I want to shout out Wildcard9 for subscribing to our Twitch channel in the chat, and also Mebo1022 for subscribing uh, using the Amazon Prime subscription. Wildcard has been a subscriber for 23 months in a row, and Mebo1022 for 12 months in a row, so thank you guys. Greatly appreciate that. So, uh, tell us about the big-headed dog. <laughs> I was just thinking, anytime you can get an xylophone into a rock song, that can't be a bad thing. I you agree. Know, I, we need more xylophones <laughs> in rock. Hey, Weird Al has his, uh, you know, whatever that thing is. The accordion. Back. The accordion. <laughs> yeah. 
I got I got my xylophone. Who song got a xylophone on? Well, I thought it gave it kind of like a Pink Panther feel to it, man. Yeah, it's I can see a, that. Yeah, rock in general I, needs more like eclectic instruments like that. You know, you can only do so much with guitar and bass. You need like, you know, other things. You know, <laughs> it. Uh, I, I first wrote that song actually about fifteen years ago, and it was a country song. And then I tried it as a hard rock song, and then just Nigel just kind of came up with, you know, a more zippier feel to it, which mm-hmm. I think kind of kicks it up a little bit. You know, that, or, that would probably explain, because I was looking to see if you had a video for this song that I could play during the show, and I found Big Headed Dog by Alligator Jackson on YouTube. It, was, it wasn't It was a video. It was just, a, yeah, you know. Yeah, the cartoons that I had yeah. made, yeah. And, and, and it was a completely different song, and I'm like, "Oh, that's not the song he posted." Okay, sure. <laughs> so yeah, that uh, I knew a country singer named Tommy Jones, and and that was uh, is actually out in Nashville, and he recorded that for me, uh, the vocals on it back. Uh, that was probably about 15 years ago, and and when I started doing, then I went in was doing southern rock and uh, a little bit of country and a little bit of hard rock, and then when I wanted to do demented songs uh make a couple albums of demented songs that was definitely one i said man you know what i gotta go back and get big headed dog so i knew i couldn't sing country so (laughs) (laughs) i'm not a singer by trade but i love the upgrade on the music i mean i love the xylophone and everything it's a very zippy yeah nigel Nigel put that together he's 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 just great man uh he plays some really good blues guitar on some of uh, the new songs I got. Really talented. It's a very cool sound. Yeah, I'll try. Yeah, and go for something different. It's different than the. Uh, it's actually going to be on uh, EP with about five blues songs, but uh, they're fun. That's the thing they have in common. The common denominator is fun. Nice, excellent. So, do you do a lot of humorous, demented songs? Yeah, I just, man, that's just something I, I never could outgrow. You know, I started listening to Dr. Demento <laughs> back in the 70s. And I always, you know, I love the hits, uh, Freddie Blassie and, uh, you know, and Dead Puppies and all that. But I always like the weirder ones, like, that you didn't hear a lot. Like, some people think chickens have lips. Remember that oh, one? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes. And uh, uh, Psycho Chicken, which that's kind of known. But, uh, I love I always Psycho liked- Chicken. <laughs> That's what, that's a favorite of mine. <laughs> Much better than, than the original way, yeah. you know. So, uh, yeah, I've just always loved fun songs, and uh, so, like I said, I always had a dream to be on a Doctor Mento show. I don't know if I'll make it or not, but I'll be, I'll be trying until. <laughs> Well, as I said, you know, it, it's always a possibility because he does, he does listen to the songs that we that we post on the Fump, so cool it's got a little bit different it's it's more you know it's got a modern xylophone feel to it i guess Mm -hmm. a little bit of uh (laughs) it's going for something different so you just Uh, you describe uh, yourself as a southern rocker yeah that's what it was uh, the the songs that i have that's uh actually out there it's I get a lot of plays and stuff on uh, uh, online and everything, and, and some of the songs have been recorded and in, 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 in released overseas. And so, but this is it. Kind of threw my bass off to all of a sudden change and go into a different direction. But it's just a funner direction. Uh, I've got songs like I got. We have a local legend up here in West Virginia called Mothman. Oh, yeah. And, yes, uh, I'm familiar with Mothman. I've got a song called Mr. Mothman. That's real fun, too. Uh, and, and, of course, I'm known. Uh, I have a local following here for news and community-type things. i got, like, 38,000 followers, and I'm known for my uh, love of Little Debbie Cakes. <laughs> so I've got a couple <laughs> Little Debbie songs. And now I just, and I've lost a couple times even, but it's, I guess, really isn't that funny. But uh, I just, the newest song I did was a blues song. And it's like, you know, I'm singing a love song to Little Debbie. Like, Little Debbie 
you know, together nothing can defeat us except maybe a little thing called diabetes. <laughs> if you remember the old Wilford Brindley uh, diabetes. Yeah, how do you do a blue song about Little Debbie other than maybe running out of the <laughs> snack cakes? <laughs> Uh, just tell them how, you know, if I stay with you, I'm going to die. Mm. You know, it's like, uh, you know, you took all my money, you took all my toes, <laughs> <laughs> took 200 toes, left me here. You know? uh, Good stuff. You know, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> so how did you discover, like, the Dr. Demento show and comedy music and stuff? I was just a little kid growing up at the time. I was in Cumberland, Maryland, you know. Uh, my, my love affair with Dr. Mento actually went to three cities. I uh, listened in uh, Cumberland until 76. And then when we moved to Huntington, you know, where I've been, uh, Huntington, West Virginia, I listened to it here. But uh, every time I go back to my grandparents, when I couldn't get it here in Huntington, I'd go back to St. Louis and I could find it in that market, you mm. know, in, in the 80s and everything. Uh, just... Uh, uh, we always had a stack of just, uh, my, my brothers were a little older than me. We had, uh, one of those k uh, eight track tapes that came out. Uh, I don't know if it was goofy greats or it was, uh, something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I lost your it, video. Oh, there you are. Okay. There we go. But, uh, just always had love for a hot rod Lincoln, you know, uh, but then, then whenever, you know, coming to take me away oh god i just fell in love with that and then <laughs> of course that kinko the clown and and, and mm -hmm. all this great thing, you know and uh as far back as 72 even before dr demento i was a big uh dickie goodman fan oh okay uh, energy crisis i think was 72 and then mm -hmm. the second one was 74 and mr jaws that album just sealed yeah. it for me Six. So I was always into Dickie Goodman, you know, as well, which in, in a Dr. Demento world became Whimsical Will, you know, mm -hmm. a little bit like. Yeah. But uh, Will's still doing it every week, too. Yeah. And, and I remember the uh, I remember the days being in high school, being in seventh, eighth, ninth grade, stay, staying up late on Sunday night, you know. So mom and dad yeah <laughs> i'm sure a lot of a lot of us had the same story you know are you away <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately i i couldn't hear the show when i was a kid i discovered i discovered the show because my mother was walking around the house one christmas singing i want a hippopotamus for christmas and none of us believed her that it was a real song we thought she was just fooling around and she was like i'll teach you and we went to the mall and this was the year that the box set came out, so we we picked up Volume Six Christmas on cassette, just so that we could have a copy of "I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas," and we never doubted my mother again after that. But um, from there, we got the box set, and then I, I was like, "Wait, this is a radio show," and you know, and I I looked for it for years. It wasn't on in Connecticut where I lived. Um, so I wasn't able to hear it until years later, like when I went off to college. I think first time I actually heard the show was my senior year in high school. I spent six weeks at Rhode Island School of Design over the summer in Rhode Island, and there was a station out there that carried it. So I was able to hear it for those six weeks while I was out there. Yeah, I was in a high school whenever uh, Weird Al was, uh, you know, I remember uh, My Bologna, mm -hmm. another one, the bus. I've, I've got to see that movie. It's I don't think around here yet, but uh, it's on, it's on the Roku channel. If uh, if you have a smart TV, you can download the Roku channel, or you can watch it on your uh, on your computer on Roku dot com. I just learned how to use Zoom fifteen minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm years away. Fair, okay. Roku. <laughs> years away from anything else. But yeah, if you have a you have a computer, go to Roku dot com. You can watch it there. It is fantastic. It's well worth the effort. Yeah, I'd like to some night just kind of kick back with a roomy buzz and uh, watch some weird out. Hey, 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 hey. Caught me off guard. Little... <laughs> <laughs> can't watch Doctor Demen Can't listen to Doctor Demento or or watch a Weird Al movie without 
a roomy buzz. That's true. Hey! 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 Still yep. a little, little slow, but. Well, I got to move the mouse to turn, click the button. So, um, <laughs> all right. So, do you remember the old Groucho Marx? You know when he'd come. Oh on yeah, 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 yeah. That bet your life, and and then of course the Pee Wee Herman thing. Everybody go. Ah! Yep. <laughs> that that's what I base this on. Yeah. Um. So, do you have anything you'd like to plug? Uh, not really. Uh, just there. There's a lot of uh, Alligator Jackson stuff. I'm putting the website back up probably here in a few minutes. Uh, it's alligatorjackson.us. As soon as we get off here, I'll get the, I'll make the payment to my. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, man. <laughs> I've had up where I didn't have anything new out and things were going. It's, it's enough sometimes to keep up with my, uh, uh, stuff i have going on here kind of my news site and everything mm -hmm. so with uh, kind of in between uh, when i am going to put out something here pretty soon that's got uh uh blue songs which uh ronald mcdonald fixed that dang ice cream machine <laughs> uh, you know it's kind of a blue traditional blue song as a waffle house blues uh it'll have also uh little debbie and uh, then it, this will, uh, big headed dog will be on there as well. And then uh, going to yeah, you can find Mister Mothman by Alligator Jackson. It's it's everywhere. And I've got another little Debbie song, but I like the blues one better. So you know, but I've got a few demented things out there. All right, excellent. It's on Spotify. It's on everywhere. You know, just. <laughs> All right, cool. So we're, uh, we're, I'm going to move on to news and tour dates and the second song of the week. Are you going to stick around or are you taking off? Well, I'll tell you what. I've got about 10 on my uh, – <laughs> well, if you get me off screen, I can kind of uh, plug it in and recharge my battery. It's been a busy day today. Okay, well, it'll it'll switch to me when I'm doing the, the intro okay, videos well, and stuff, I'll and then we'll do the news. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. So here's a uh, promo. This is the Fump. I'm not a robot. I'm not a robot. Whoa, I'm not a robot. No, I'm not. I swear that I'm not. I'm not a robot. But bad luck seems to plague him. No glory, just guts. Like an angel who's been kicked in the nuts. I'm tired of outrage fatigue. New outrage every week. That's the Funny Music Project so at thefump.com. T-H-E-F-U-M-P.com. Tired. Tired. Time for funny music news. Something, something, something. In the news, The Fump Volume 95 is now available. This album features all the songs that we posted in September and October of 2022, plus a video interview with Toby Danger, fresh off their appearance at Con on the Cob. It is available for right now in the store at thefump.com, and as I mentioned earlier, CDs will ship out Friday. Uh, I also want to mention um, I have a Christmas comedy playlist on Spotify I put together a couple of years ago. Uh, it's just called that. It's called Christmas Comedy Songs. And I updated it this year with some songs that were released over the past year or so or songs that previously weren't on Spotify. Uh, just go on Spotify, search for Christmas Comedy Songs. It's from the user Devo Spice. You will find it. It's not a comprehensive list of every comedy song on Spotify. It's just kind of my favorites. Uh, Amy Englehart is baking gingerbread. Okay. Uh, for $16 a loaf, which includes in-person delivery in Los Angeles, 
uh, or she will ship anywhere in the U.S. Buy four loaves and get the fifth one free. Contact Amy if you're interested. <laughs> she says, it is awesome. You will weep tears of molasses. This recipe involves dark rye flour, a ton of molasses, sugar, ginger, eggs, and spices. Do not mistake it for nutrition. And for fuck's sake, do not eat it if you have sugar or gluten issues. So contact Amy Englehart if you would like some homemade gingerbread. Uh, Randy Rainbow has been nominated for a Grammy for his album, A Little Brains, A Little Talent. So big congratulations, Randy. All the other nominees are stand-up comics. Uh, the other nominees in the comedy category are Comedy Monster by Jim Gaffigan, Sorry by Louis C.K., The Closer by Dave Chappelle, and We All Scream by Patton Oswald. And the Fump newsletter went out today featuring such topics as the Fump Volume 95, a whole bunch of videos, and a little bit more. If you're not on our mailing list, you can view it online at tiny.cc slash fump1122 for November of 2022. tiny.cc slash fump1122. All right. Tour dates. On Sundays in Nashville, Tennessee, Steve Goody hosting at the Bluebird. On Thursdays online, Phil Johnson and Roadside Attraction. Also Thursdays online, Steve Goody and Brad Tassel at virtualcomedyshow.com. On the 25th in Oakland, California, Phil Johnson and Roadside Attraction. Also on the 25th in Morristown, New Jersey, Carla Albrick. On the 26th in Astoria, New York, Carla Albrick. If you're planning on going to either of those shows, make sure they're still happening. On the 27th in Chicago, Illinois, Jake Dewar. On the 27th online, Devo Spice and Worm Quartet. Uh, Shoebox and I are, are appearing at a, on a radio station in Ithaca. I will post the details as soon as I have them all. On the 27th in Carmel, California, Phil Johnson and Roadside Attraction. On the 1st in Pleasant Hill, California, Phil Johnson and Roadside Attraction. On the 2nd online on Twitch, Mikey Mason. On the 3rd in Rochester, New York, Worm Quartet. And on the 4th in Walnut Creek, California, Phil Johnson and Roadside Attraction. All right. Second song this week is by Carla Albrick. New song about a, I guess, the new, se new season of an old show. Or not an old show, but it's a current show. Anyway, here is Dead People by Carla Albrick. I forgot to unmute myself. Um, 
I was a big fan of The Walking Dead when it first started, and I mean, I know the show has gradually been going downhill, but I've watched every season, and it's like at this point, I have to finish it. I never, like I know it's a sunk cost fallacy, but I have to finish it. So, whenever that last season drops on Netflix, I will watch it. I think it might have already. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, all right, what else we got? Let's do some feedback. Making the internet absolutely ridiculous. Dementia Radio. www.dementiaradio.org. Port 8027. Please hang up and try again. This is the part where there's feedback. 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 You know that segment of the show we do about now? Feedback. Feedback. (laughs) Feedback. And there's no feedback this week. You know what that means. Hello, Devo. Hello, Luke. Baramon here. I'm afraid there's no feedback this week. No feedback at all. I know how frustrating this is, with you going through the effort of crafting an intro for everyone. So now is the time to remind them to subscribe. Use that Prime subscription if they have one. It's free. There you go. That's a good boy. Have a biscuit. Damn it! All right. (laughs) Uh, Let's do this. Teasing. He's a teasing kind of guy. Now you have a job. Yeah! Teasing. Tomorrow's song is by Robbie Ellis. And... Tuesday's song is not yet posted. So you'll have to wait to find out what's happening Tuesday. Um, And that's it. So uh, we also have a Spotify playlist uh, called Funny Music Fridays, and I post a new group of songs based on a particular topic. Would you like to suggest a topic for this week's songs? I'm going to start Christmas next week. Turkey hangover. Hangovers? Turkey or hangover? We're going to be at turkey. We did, we did turkey. turkey yeah, we did. Tur- we, we did turkey last week. That's what the current songs are. Hangovers. Hangovers. Turkey. Okay, I'll see what hangovers are. I'll uh, hangovers slash alcohol because I'm not sure if there's a whole lot of hangover songs, but uh, I know there's a lot of alcohol songs, so I will <laughs> do that. Excellent. Okay. All right, Alligator Jackson, plug yourself one more time. Alligator Jackson, give me 10 minutes to make a PayPal payment, and I'll have, <laughs> I'll have uh, uh, <laughs> www.alligatorjackson.us. Uh, I have several Facebook pages. I got, uh, I got Alligator Jackson. I got Alligator Jackson's Inside Huntington. But, uh, hey, hopefully you'll hear, hear more. I'm going to send some more songs, so... Hopefully, uh, hopefully they're demented enough. Yeah. All right. I work in a mental health hospital, so I know, I know dementia. Oh, okay. <laughs> so one of our, our fans last week suggested plugging something besides our own music. And there's two things I want to mention. Uh, first of all, today is the 59th anniversary of Dr. Who. So if you're, if you're a Dr. Who fan, um, you know, spin up your favorite episode or something. Um, there's also rumors that they may have found some new of the lost episodes because some old uh, collector from Australia passed away recently and had a whole horde of videotapes from like the 1970s. Um, so they have to go through them all, but he was a big Doctor Who fan and he's got a stash of tapes. So they don't know what's in there yet, but there's a possibility that there's they may find some of the old lost episodes. So I'm excited about that. Um, And the other thing is I've been watching uh, Guillermo del Toro's cabinet of curiosities on Netflix. Um, There's a horror anthology series, which has been really cool so far. I'm up to like episode four or five, um, something like that. And uh, I'm, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. And there is a comedy music connection in episode four. I think it is. Uh, Kate Micucci of Garfunkel and Oates stars in the episode. Uh, it's about uh, some type of weird, uh, like body lotion that 
it's a horror. You can, you can, you can imagine what it does. Um, <laughs> but it's a good episode. She's really good in it. So, all right. Uh, do you have anything you wanted to, anything you're excited about non alligator no. Jackson related or. I was just excited to be on here. All right. Excited about the fump folks. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. (laughs) All right. Uh, Let's get out of here. Thank you for listening to the Funny Music Podcast. I'm Devo Spice, and there's Alligator Jackson. See ya. Thank you for listening to the Funny Music Podcast. You can listen live every Thursday night at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific at DementiaRadio.org and join us in the chat or subscribe to the podcast feed. Look us up on iTunes and be sure to leave us a review. Feedback for the show can be sent to info at thefump.com. The Funny Music Podcast is a production of Fidem Interactive, LLC, released under a Creative Commons share-alike license. Tell your friends. Tell your enemies. Shout it to random people on the street. And be sure to visit thefump.com for the latest funny songs. Tune in next week where you'll hear Luke Ski say... So much turkey!